The diagram on the right shows the architecture layers of MySQL, which include all the different components and their relationships to each other. The software developers and DBAs interact with the database through MySQL connector APIs and service layers that are above the storage engines. If there are new system requirements for your database that require you to change the underlying storage engine, such as needing to add one or more storage engines, then the good news is that no process changes or significant coding is required to make that change. The MySQL server architecture provides a consistent API to protect your application from the underlying complexity of the storage engine. The MySQL connection in your application provides the tools for sending queries to the query processor. The connector layers include APIs, MySQL Workbench, utility programs, and the command line. The command line client processes SQL queries interactively and is used by both database administrators and users. The query processor has two main tasks. It manages the pool of connections from many users. The connection is the user's access to the database. And it can also compile SQL queries into low-level instructions called an execution plan that the storage system can understand. While compiling, the query processor checks for syntax errors and the query optimizer reads the low-level instructions and uses relational algebra that which generates alternative execution plans to help speed up or optimize your database. And the cache manager stores reusable information in main memory to help provide faster database performance. For example, you may want to store in cache uh, a query execution plan for queries that are used multiple times, or just saving query results for tables that don't change that much. The storage engine layer provides transaction management and data access. Transaction management includes the concurrency system, recovery system, and lock manager, and it also ensures that your transactions are atomic, consistent, isolated, and durable. Data access translates table, column, and index reads into block addresses, and it does this by communicating with the file system and may also use a buffer manager to retain blocks for use to help reduce time, similar to a cache. And there are several options for the storage engine, with inodb being the most commonly used one, which manage the table indexes and interact with the file system. The file system contains user and system data, tables and indexes, log files, and a data dictionary, also called a catalog, which is a database of objects, including tables, columns, keys, and indexes. So if you're a DBA and have access to a paid version of MySQL, called the MySQL Enterprise Edition, then you also get some additional features such as a monitor to check the overall health of the database, such as CPU and main memory utilization. And it also provides an audit which tracks all database changes, including sensitive data and data with timestamped information. And additional Enterprise Edition components provide support for backup, security, firewalls, and encryption.